Konnichiwa Nakama, I am your host, Locum23. You're joining me for choices of the stories you play. Freshman, Book 2, Chapter 8, The Hospital. You sit in the hospital's waiting room with James and Yasmin, the overhead fluorescence buzzing like flies. I can't believe it. You seemed fine earlier tonight. It's probably nothing, right? It's just low blood sugar or something. It could be, or... Yasmin finishes speaking to the doctor nearby. She walks up to you and gives you a warning look. I'm sure the professor wouldn't want us discussing his sensitive medical information. Oh, of course. James, it sounds like they'll be keeping him for evaluation for a few days, but you can go talk to him for now. I like that. Without another word, James walks down the hall towards Vasquez's room. Vasquez told me you're aware of his condition? Yes, and apparently so are you. It's my job to know these things. It affects my business. It's also my job to keep my clients happy, and that means keeping Vasquez's cancer private. Sounds like it's... It's all about money to you? You have a sense of loyalty. It's all about money to you. That just shows how little you know. If I were to try... If I were trying to make a buck, I'd leave the news of Vasquez's cancer to the media. Book sales would be up 30% by breakfast tomorrow. So why don't you? Because I play the long game. My clients know my word is my bond. Well, of course. If he was to survive through this, he'd immediately cancel you as a publisher or even anyone resembling business appropriate. If I lose that, I lose everything. But what about James? Doesn't he deserve to know? He deserves to hear it from Vasquez. Just then, James walks out, smiling wide. Based on the way he was berating the nurse, I'd say he's feeling a lot better. He says the doctor gave him a clean bill of health. They're just keeping him here as an extra precaution. Oh, great. He told me not to wait up. Should we head home? Sounds like a good idea. Yasmin shoots you one last stern glare before turning and leaving, her heels clicking on the hospital floor. So is Mizumi not going to go see him, or...? A little later, you and James arrive back on the campus. So, what now? I'm sure the party is over if you want to head back to my place and talk. I'm going to stop by Vasquez's office and pick up his laptop. If he goes more than a few hours without writing, he's pretty cranky. Wait, I mean, this whole time I've been seeing him in a, in a good mood? <laughs> exactly. James, are... are you okay? I'm sure it's nothing, it's just... Despite everything Vasquez told me, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Am I missing something here? For a moment, the world seems to stop, and you take a deep breath. I... You can tell me anything. You know that, right? You take another breath and remember what Vasquez, Professor Vasquez told you. Oh my god, how long have you known? Does Gabriella know? Of course not! Does James? No, and you won't tell him! James, I... <sighs> the truth is, Professor Vasquez has cancer, I don't know. You know, it's funny enough, I just had a kind of a 
one of the fights that I had with one of my friends um, was the fact that he went and told other people shit about me that he never ran by me to make me seem quote unquote me or human or to get the guys to know you better so they don't think you're a complete dick which I wouldn't say I'm a complete dick I'd just say I'm a very private person you know um so when it comes to this me and Professor Vasquez have a lot in common it's it's not someone else's place to tell other people shit because especially it gets lost in translation you know what I'm saying so I don't know I guess we're both in the dark he kept Vasquez a secret yeah you're interrupted by the sound of soft clapping from nearby Bravo. My father mentioned that you'd taken up acting in his last email, but I had no idea how good you were. Gabriella, what are you doing here? My father had listed me as his emergency contact. I was on the way to the hospital when he called and asked me to bring him a few things. Normally I would have told him to go to hell, but even I can't turn my back on him at a time like this. I'm confused. What's going on? Go on, Mizumi. Tell him the truth, just like you should have told me the truth when you first found out. I... He must have wanted to make sure he didn't upset you with the baby coming and all. Too late for that. The cat's out of the bag. My dad told me everything. Now, are you going to tell James, or do I have to? James... Professor Vasquez, he has cancer. How bad is it? Terminal. So, you've been lying to me this whole time? I'll leave you two to sort this out. I'm going to see my father. You know, there was a time where she was a complete bitch. Remember that. Well, in another word, Gabriella trudges off towards the parking lot. James watches, looking shell-shocked. She disappears into the distance. Cancer. I... I can't believe it. James... Looking back, I should have told you sooner. I should have let Gabriella know. I did the right thing. Vasquez asked me to keep it a secret. And I did. Even though it meant lying to me for months, I didn't say it was easy. Please say something. What is there to say? You and Vasquez are two of the most important people in my life at Harfeld, and you've been lying to me for months. I thought you were one of my closest friends. I am. I wish I could believe you. James? Maybe it's better if we just don't hang out for a little bit. He turns and walks slowly into Vasquez's office, leaving you alone in the softly falling snow. Thanks, Gabriella. That could have been handled easier without your acidine clapping in the background, especially. You're right back at your dorm to find your roommates cleaning up after the party. There you are. We were worried. Is Vasquez... He's okay. For now. Oh, Mizumi, come here. Ja Zack pulls you in for a big hug. Okay, you're clearly in need of some serious suit ma sweet mates. TLC. Ice cream? You curl up on the couch. Over the next hour, you tell your friends everything. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, might as well. He told me to keep it a secret. He even threatened to revoke my scholarship. I wish I could say I'm surprised. Gabrielle looks so hurt, and I would be too. Imagine if some random girl kept your dad's cancer a secret. But it wasn't your secret to tell. Wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was not your secret to tell. And James basically dumped me as a friend. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll he's just hurt. He'll forgive you eventually. 
I wouldn't be so sure. A cerebral guy like that? He could hold on to that kind of betrayal for years. Tyler, we're supposed to be cheering her up? Oops, my bad. Can we talk about something else, like, uh, Caitlin? What happened with Arjun? Huh? N nothing happened. We hung out for a bit, shared some memories, and he eventually took off. So you didn't tell him? Uh, it didn't come up? And what about you, Chris? How's the presidential campaign coming? <laughs> I guess I better start figuring that out. I can't wait to see the look on Sebastian's face when I beat him. Soon, you're lost in conversation and able to forget your talk with James. I actually had a great time at the party. I spent like an hour listening to Edgar and Leland argue about the definition of organic. It was like watching a train wreck in slow motion. They almost had a physical fight. And I totally saw Logan and Trip thumb wrestling on the rough. Okay, like that's a big deal. Uh, <laughs> as the night winds down, your friends all head to bed. Just remember, we've got your back. Always. Even if other people don't. Thanks. As everyone goes to sleep, Caitlin sits on the couch next to you. It's gonna be okay, you know that, right? Do I? She wraps her arms around you, pulling you in tight. What can I do to make you feel better? <sighs> I think I just need to be alone. We should head back to my room. If it was me, currently, in my current position, I would say I need to be alone. But, since she is your girlfriend, and I kind of look forward to that day. Excuse me, on. I look forward to that, right? You know, when you have someone to confide in as someone you care about and as someone you're especially intimate with, there's just things you can do or say or whatnot with, like, a girlfriend or boyfriend that you can't do with, like, friends or family or things like that. So, like, cuddling up with someone, you know, and and just feeling secure with them or, or vice versa. So, we should head back to my room. I was hoping you'd say something like that. Do we plan to cuddle, make out, or fall asleep cuddling? A few minutes later, you're holding Caitlin close, and all thoughts of James and Vasquez melt away. It's nice to forget your worries, even if it's only for a few minutes. What are girlfriends for, right? Girlfriend, I like hearing you say that. Me too. Keep calm and study hard. The next morning. Oh, did we fall asleep cuddling? Okay, so do We'll go with that one. This outfit is awesome. Everything is awesome. As you can tell in my voice, I'm not really that encouraged by it. You head for the coffee shop, thank God, and with Zach and Tyler. No matter how sad you're feeling, a warm drink always helps. Especially when it's coffee, yes. Yeah. Any words from James? Check your phone and open your text log with James. Oh, hell no. Do not tell me you're going to text him right now. Trust me, a guy like James needs space. I don't know. It couldn't hurt to reach out. I'm going to... <sighs> There's times when you want space! I'm gonna be honest, as a guy or a girl, everybody says, oh, I want some space. Though you don't want that kind of space, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's a relationship and somebody says they want space, I hate that. I really do. I really do, because that space is like, hey, our relationship is over. 99.9% .9 of the time, let's be honest, when someone says they want space, the relationship's over. But when it comes to friends, in this playthrough, we are friends. I still want to give him some space, but at least we have a chance, you know? Zack is right. James asked for space, and I have to respect that. 
Good call. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll hear from him soon enough. Once he's had a chance to lick his wounds... Just then, Brandon walks up to Zack, holding a drink. Here's a latte for my little coffee bean, and some cocoa for Mizumi. Guess I'd better enjoy the perks of taking Bursta while I can. Aw, don't be like that. I'm only gonna be off Peru for a few months. You'll survive. And anyways, it's our month anniversary tomorrow. You should be planning something special. Who says I'm not? I get off at 6 tomorrow night. You'd better be here to pick me up. We'll see. Maybe I'll just get lucky. I like the sound of that. Brandon heads back to the counter as you shoot Zack a look. Hey, you two are so cute. Is everything okay? I don't know. The truth is, I've never done the long distance thing before. I have. I believe at this point I want to say one too many times, or one too many times with the wrong people. That's actually the best way to put it. I don't even know if I can do it. Aww, I'm sure you guys will be okay. You're an awesome couple. Thanks. Well, anyway, I should probably figure out what we're doing for the month anniversary, right? I thought you guys were joking about that. Month anniversaries aren't a real thing. Aren't, are they? No. No, they're not. I will not do it. No, screw you. Ah, uh, they totally are a real thing. No, they're not. Wait a second. What day of the month did you and Abby finally make it official? No comment? It's today, isn't it? Theoretically, yes. But there's no rule saying I have to do something special, right? Sure, just like Abby doesn't have to keep dating you. Is it getting stuffy in here? Uh, my palms are sweaty. Meatball spaghetti. I'm, <laughs> I'm panicking, Mizumi. What do I do? You're on your own. I'll help you plan something. Don't worry, buddy. I've got your back. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Later that evening. Quick! Get up on the roof. We only got a few more minutes to, to get everything ready for Abby. I'll see you in her and to, to wait for her. All right, on it. What are we planning? You scurry up to the roof up where Caitlin and Zach are arguing. Red roses are the definition of cliche. What's next? Champagne and strawberries? They're cliche for a reason. Nobody like looks at orchids and thinks romance. You turn to Chris, who is quietly organizing a plate of cookies in the corner. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They've been arguing over this for the last ten minutes. Mizumi! Tell Caitlin that orchids are ugly, and we should use roses for the centerpiece? Mizumi, tell Zack that orchids are ugly, and that roses are a lame cliché. You look at Chris again. He shrugs. Okay, well... You should use rosed orchids. So, funny story real quick. I used to work for a flower organization, and there was this girl I was into. And, um, pretty much I sent her a blue orchid. Very beautiful, very be beautiful blue um, orchid plant that she could keep forever. It was something that wasn't like, here, here's some roses that'll die in a week, or here, here's some chocolates that'll die, you know, because you, you'll eat them all in like a day or a week. It was something that forever she'd get to remember. So I had some orchids. I, I didn't do the, the cliche of roses. Um, because I, I look at roses. I love roses, don't get me wrong. But I love orchids. I love Venus flytraps, even. I think those are amusing and, and, and just very intriguing plants. Um, then again, I'm a guy. I, I look at a lot of those flowers, and I love going through, like, the flower parts of a store and going and smelling them and the different textures and the different pollinations and smells and things like that. So I'm gonna go with orchids. I told you so. You're just saying that because she's your girlfriend. Maybe I did, or maybe she's my girlfriend because she has a good taste in flowers. Aww, come here, you. Caitlin kisses you playfully on the lips. Get a room. Maybe later. 
Wow. Now fully arrange the orchids in the vase. Why not just do both? If you have roses and you have orchids, why not just do both? Why are we arguing over this to begin with? Perfect. It's not like she waved a magic wand and just poof, orchids appeared. Tyler pokes his head in. Guys, Abby just texted me. She's gonna be back in just a minute. Everyone hide! Okay, so him and her will be kissing and making out on the roof and you're all gonna be hiding? Wh where's Chris gonna hide? Behind the pole? You and Zack hide behind the couch. Oh, this will get good. I have footsteps. Just then you hear the sound of the door to the suite open. Yell surprise? Wait. You're upstairs. You can hear Abby and Tyler's muffled voices from the suite. Come on, come on, get her up here. Finally, the door to the roof opens. Stay hidden. Surprise! 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 Oh my gosh, you guys! But where's Mizumi? Wait, wasn't she right here? You stand up sheepishly. Sorry, I guess I'm not good at the surprising people. So, what's the occasion? It's our month anniversary. Our what? Uh, we got together a, a month ago today. Oh, Tyler, you didn't have to do anything. Tyler shoots Zach a look. No shit. But I'm glad you did. Tyler leads Abby over to the table and pulls out the chair for her. After you, my dear. Welcome to Cafe D. Hartfeld, where here is the menu for tonight. You hand Abby a handmade menu detailing a three-course dinner. Oh, did you guys really get all this for me? Well, I had a little help. She leans in to kiss him. You just earned some major boyfriend points. Major! High five, Tyler. You owe us. First up is a vegetable risotto with a side of sautéed Brussels sprouts. Did you guys cook this? Definitely. If it tastes exactly like the food from the French restaurant down the street, that's a complete coincidence. Nice job, Chris. Nice. For the next course, champagne and strawberries. Seriously? Oh god! <laughs> oh, so triggered! What? It's champagne and strawberries. These are amazing. Well, I guess I could be wrong about cliches. Meh. They have their place. Finally, the meal is over. Abby, blah, bloats as her eyes. Oh, oh my god, I fail at this. Abby b blots her eyes with a napkin? I said bloats, but blots? Abby, is, is everything okay? It's just, this is like the nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me. That's, um... She gets up and walks over to Tyler. She gives him a massive hug. Soon, they're kissing deeply. I think we might get want to get out of here before this gets PG-13. Wow, it's PG-13, that's all? <sniffs> you and your friends heads downstairs, leaving Tyler and Abby to enjoy the rest of their month anniversary in private. Well, they cozied up by some fire with some champagne and strawberries. We didn't know the third quarter, so... A few days later, you and your suite mates are all hanging out at your place. Still no word from James, huh? Sounds like... It's a good night for a distraction. Like TV until my eyes bleed? Sign me up. Oh, nice! I can't believe I spaced on this. It's Warriors vs. Cavs and I... This is gonna be good. Sounds perfect to me. We are not missing the season premiere of Crown in the Flame because of some stupid sports ball match. I'm with Abby. Smart man. Looks like it's two against two. What do you think, Mizumi? Wait, shouldn't Caitlyn weigh in on this? She has lots of opinions. 
I think she's upstairs, taking a phone call from Arjun. Wait, what? Does that mean she still hasn't told him that she's... The then Caitlin walks in. Uh, guys, I just got off the phone with Arjun, and I kind of told him we could hang out. You mean, like, a date? No, what? No, he distinctly said hang out. Yeah, that's a date. This could get awkward. Find out what happens when Caitlin and Arjun hang out in the next chapter. Hmm. Yeah, um, he's been... Okay, so let's let's be honest. It's a guy who's been contacting his friend just a bit more. Hanging out a bit more. He gets all googly on her. <laughs> he just... He reminisces about old times and growing up. Mm, 60-40 he's in her. How about that? Mm, 75-25. If we were to put it to the extreme, it depends on... I mean, really, that's where body language and everything picks up, and that's something that isn't conveyed well with these books. Let's put it that way. Um... <sighs> So I hope y'all did enjoy. Also, feel free to check out my other videos. We've been doing Replica. It's AI. It's a well, it's a sort of an AI. It, it as you talk to it more, it begins to learn more about you, and it de develops its own personality and its own likes and its own wants. And it's and the only thing that I, I I find shitty about it is is it doesn't answer questions. And that's a very interesting thing because when I was a kid, I grew up back when there was B drives. You remember the big old floppies, the big uh, black, like, cubed floppies? Not the little ones with the little metal slide. I'm talking, those were A drives. The B drives, the big old ones. There was a program back then, when I was just but a kid, and it was a psychiatrist that would talk to you. You put it in, it would start up, and it looked like MS-DOS, and it would say, hey, how's your day? And you would get to talking, and you could ask it questions, and it would give you answers back. I don't remember the exact name of the program, but it was very interesting because it actually had more of a um, personality sub-routine, an AI, where it had uh, an actual personality to it where you could ask it questions and it would answer them. Though sometimes those answers would be kooky, stupid, crazy shit, but yeah. So I'm hoping that's what this builds up to, the more it learns from you, and the more phrases it learns, and things like that. So join me on that journey. It also is a good way for you folks to get to, to know shit about me. Um, other than that, um, we're doing the Diamonds Editions. I still gotta work on the recap. I'm trying to get the recap done. I just have not been in the mood for it to sit down and watch, you know, my own videos and sit there and take notes and everything. I've had a lot going on this past week or so. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what to do there. But otherwise, um, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did or didn't, let me know in the comment section below. So feel free to like and share the video. Uh, otherwise, you can always head down in the description below. You can follow me on social media or if you want to communicate via that way as well you can do that as well and uh, otherwise if you want to support my channel you can do that as well and until next time stay well stay awesome and i'll catch you all in the next video peace